Although AC motors are the most common type of motor used in industry, direct current or DC motors are also used. One common use for a DC motor is as a backup motor for a critical process. DC motors can run on the direct current supplied by a battery when there is a failure in the alternating current supplied to an AC motor. For example, this DC motor is used with a backup pump that supplies oil to the bearings in a large piece of equipment. Normally, an AC motor drives a separate pump that supplies oil to the bearings. But if that motor fails, the DC motor-driven pump can be used to provide the oil. This is an illustration of a DC motor. In this simplified example, the stator consists of two permanent magnets. The rotating part, which is shown as a loop of wire, is called the armature. The armature is connected to a source of DC power. These two components are called brushes. The brushes are connected to a DC power source. A conducting ring, known as a commutator, is mounted on the end of the armature. The commutator is not a solid ring. It consists of conducting segments that are separated from each other. During operation, the commutator makes sliding contact with the brushes. Current flows from the negative side of the DC power source through one brush to a commutator segment. The current then flows through the armature in this direction, back through the other commutator segment to the other brush, and to the positive side of the power source. The poles are perpendicular to the armature. So when current is supplied to the armature, motor action is produced. The interaction between the stator's magnetic field and the armature's magnetic field causes the armature to rotate. Even though the armature has turned, the current still flows from the negative side of the power source through the armature to the positive side of the power source. However, the commutator has physically changed the direction in which the current flows through the armature. This change in direction changes the polarity of the magnetic field created by the armature. So the brushes and the commutator in a DC motor enable the armature to change its magnetic field, and as a result, the armature turns continuously. The example we used to explain the operation of a DC motor was simplified to help make things clear. Both the construction and operation of actual DC motors are more complex. For example, the stator in a DC motor is usually an electromagnet, not a permanent magnet. 